Uh, hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is listeriosis or listeria infection, you know, or also known as listeria monocytogenesis so infection. So these are the different names used for the same medical condition. Now, uh, in this video, I'll uh, just it is just overview, you know, but in the next video, we'll uh, explain in detail about the symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. Now, listeriosis is a disease caused by a gram-positive bacteria named Listeria, and that can penetrate and replicate inside the human cells. You know. And the symptoms of the listeriosis are variable. Most people who are infected have few or no symptoms. Now, when the symptoms of the Listeria infection develop, they usually consist of fever, muscle aches, um, uh, nausea, diarrhea, and uh, some people may develop more severe symptoms such as meningitis or mental changes and brain abscesses, you know, and uh, even death, you know. Now, the most uh, people have self-limiting disease and the people with risk factors such as uh, with an altered or depressed immune system, for example, pregnant females and uh, their fetus uh, or the newborn baby, you know, are the cancer patients or AIDS patients and the people with diabetes or the alcoholics, you know, so they are at high risk for getting it. Uh, the disease at uh, uh, some are more likely to have more um, severe disease you know now listeriosis is, is usually diagnosed by uh, discovering that the person was associated with an outbreak of listeria contaminated food or fluid or uh, identified as person associated with the source of uh, uh, known listeriosis uh, outbreak you know now definitive diagnosis is done uh, uh, when the listeria bacteria are isolated from the patient's blood and uh, cerebrospinal fluid or the other body fluids, you know. And the most uh, uh, normal people spontaneously clear the infection and require no treatment. And uh, uh, the people with the risk factors, you know, with the high risk factors should be treated uh, quickly with the intravenous antibiotics, you know. Now, the people are exposed uh, uh, to listeria bacteria if uh, uh, they in case contaminated food or fluids and the foods uh, that are not cooked are the fluids that are not treated or pasteurized uh, as frequently uh, the source of infection you know and during the pregnancy uh, women can transmit dysteria organisms uh, to their fetus or to their newborn babies uh, listeria is not contagious uh, from person to person and uh, except in pregnancy you know and the disease is transmitted to the humans mainly by the contaminated food or the fluids now the listeria infections uh, uh, may last about one week to about six weeks depending on the severity of the infection you know and the cooking foods uh, treating or pasteurizing the fluids and avoiding the food and the fluids that may be contaminated with animal or the human waste um, may prevent infection you know and the prognosis for the most uh, listeria infections is excellent uh, even if the people have consumed contaminated foods or the fluids you know uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day thank you and goodbye